TMI alert. Don't listen if you don't want to know this stuff. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning, Vox. I hope that you guys are having a lovely day. I am not in labor, as you can see. At least not at this moment. Um, I've had a couple of contractions today, but nothing to write home about. And I'm on my way to a midwife appointment in just a second here. I do have to bring Roslyn with me this time around, so it'll be fun because I'm getting a non-stress test. And my next appointment is the 40 week appointment and I don't know, I know that once you go post um, after your full term, they start doing two NSTs a week and I don't know if they're going to start doing that at 40 weeks or 41 weeks. So I need to ask them about that. I don't know if I'm going to ask them to check me, but if you guys didn't see my bump date, um, you can check it out over on Heidi Kim TV. I just posted it today. <laughs> Um, hopefully I will get yesterday's vlog up too, but I don't know if I'm going to get a chance. If you did not see that, at my appointment last week I was still 3 centimeters, but I was 90% effaced. I'm thinking that I made some progress because TMI alert, don't listen if you don't want to know this stuff, but I've had quite a bit of um, bloody show the last day every time I've gone to the bathroom. so. We'll see what she has to say about that, and maybe Irene will be coming very, very soon. I don't know. It's so funny because I feel like she must have shifted. I've been having back pain in my sacrum for weeks now, and it's like it's moved up and switched sides. I want to ask while I'm at the birth center if she's um, sunny side up, because sometimes if babies are sunny side up and their spine is pushing up against your spine, it can give you really bad back labor when you're in labor and I'm curious if that would happen even when I'm not in labor because my back is killing me right now I just want to get out of the car I'm so uncomfortable um, and I'm interested to see what happens on the NST because I feel like I've been having some kind of crampy light contractions and I, I want to see if they show up on the non-stress test or not Thanks. got Rosalind wandering around careful sweetie yes. Well, I get my non-stress test. <laughs> this is not going well. Thank you. You should be going okay. Um, she's awake, she's moving, and my uterus is doing something. Look at this. So that's interesting. And I'm gonna get an ultrasound today to check the fluid levels, which they haven't done yet. We get to do an ultrasound, very exciting. And with my favorite midwife too, or one of, one of my favorites. I like them all, but I like some of them a little bit more than others. <laughs> and Cece's one of them. I am ashamed, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna fix this right now. And it needs a good vacuum, but all cleaned out. Look what I found, this little thing, a whole bottle of this, some old pants of Rosalind's, one of my mirrors that fell off my visor. And my little thing for my phone. Rosalind, does mommy know you have carrots? Mommy does not know she has carrots. I don't know. How long does she have those? I don't know. They're so cold? <laughs> yeah, they're cold, so. <laughs> those are your carrots. I'm glad you like your carrots. Who's. What, what's up? You want me to hold them? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I'll give it back to you. You gave them to me. Oh, do you want me to pull on them? Oh, uh, we're fighting over them? I think she wanted to give them to her rabbit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yep. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be in here. I banish you! Yeah, that's happened because you're in the wrong yeah. area in the wrong room. Shoo, go away! Go away, shoo! Yeah. You're not supposed to be in here. Go away! Yeah. Apparently I'm supposed Baby. to help carry the carrots. Baby. Drop what? Drop baby. Drop baby? Oh, we, we are supposed to fight for the carrots. Oh. <laughs> Release the carrots to me! Never, they're my carrots. These are forever. my carrots. 
Yeah. Oh, oh no! Roslyn loves the carrots. <laughs> oh, you are superior in every way. Clipso, get out! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Do you know what's amazing is I filmed her and I saw her and it didn't register my brain. I was like, I just told you to leave. Like, this is how it happens. This is how they like expand their territory. One day you're just like, you're not allowed on the couch, and then you're just like, how did you go on the couch? When did this happen? And then eventually it turns into it that's a dog's house. couch, and this is my futon, and you guys sit over there, and we sit over here. And then they start expanding. <laughs> the dogs, I mean, the dogs have taken over our bed. Pretty much the only room in the house that they have not taken over is this room. And they're trying to. They're trying to. I'm actually surprised it's Calypso because it's usually Apollo that does the sneakiness. Uh, yeah. I didn't update you guys on my midwife appointment, which is a thing that I seem to do. Here, I'll hold the camera because Rosalind's trying to feed daddy carrots. <laughs> Um, it's a thing I seem to do where I just say, hey, I'm at the midwives, and then I don't tell you what they said. Um, I did not get a cervical check this week because I had Rosalind with me, and I figured that was a very tasty it carrot. doesn't mean anything anyway. Thank you. So um, I will be doing one on Tuesday if I'm still pregnant. My due date is Monday, so we'll see. Ginger. I'll hold Ginger. Thank you. I really, really hope. So I have a week in school again. And I'm like, okay. Irene needs to be born today or tomorrow, or not at all until Sunday. Like, it's not Friday or Saturday. Uh, Saturday night would be reasonable, but 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 not Friday. Friday day would not be good. I um, I have no and, control. Uh, Irene, please just, just hold up. Just take after your dad. Just be a little bit late. That's fine. If you don't have to be late, just not on Friday. Just not on Friday or Saturday. Anyways, um. So, they didn't do a check, but I did have a non-stress test, and that went perfect. They said it was textbook. And then they did an AFI, which is a fluid ultrasound, and they said that was perfect as well. She is posterior, though, which means, like, sunny side up, which is part of the reason why I have been having so much back pain. So, I've been doing some exercises to try and get her to rotate. So, you can have one. Put the rest of and I talked to my doula yesterday with some belly massages and stuff, or belly rubs that I can do to get her to move. And this morning, I felt, my back felt better for the first time, so maybe it worked. I don't know. We'll see at the next ultrasound. Oh, but I do have another non-stress test tomorrow. They want me to do two a week now. We are on our way to a non-stress test. Uh, today, I do have a friend who gets to watch Rosalind. Uh, during it, so Rosalind's very excited. She's gonna play at Chloe's house, although I think she's asleep back there. She's been awfully quiet. Um, all I'm having is a non stress test, so no appointment today, and we'll see how baby Irene's doing. Yep, she's asleep. I don't know if she's gonna have a good time playing with her friend. Um, we'll see if she wakes up once we get there, or once I try to move her into the, the bed at Chloe's house. Chloe's going to be so sad. Rosalind's going to be sad, too. She's been talking about it all day. Um, anyways, today is March 31st. I don't know when you're watching this, but we had a whole discussion. Um, tomorrow <laughs> is the month that Irene's going to be born in. Um, tomorrow is the 1st of April, and she's going to be born at some point in April. I don't know when, but, you know, her due date is April 4th, and so... Even if I go two weeks late, which is the longest they'll let me go, I think, that puts me at the 18th. So she's definitely going to be born next month. A couple of my friends were joking that no one's going to believe me if she's born tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not really feeling any signs of anything. Uh, tomorrow would be a less than ideal day because Ken is working uh, late tomorrow night because he's doing weekend school again. So hopefully... Maybe Sunday would be a good day because then Ken will be done with weekend school for the weekend and it's the day before my due date. But of course I don't get to pick it. She gets to pick it. So we'll see what she decides. I am at work. Heidi is just finishing up, <laughs> Heidi is just finishing up an NST and I am uh, getting Weekend Academy stuff prepped. Um, I'm going to try very hard to have that done now and not tomorrow's and tomorrow's Friday. Today is Thursday, by the way. Um, 
last day of March, last chance for Irene to be a March baby, and it uh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. In other news, um, yep, finishing up at work um, today, I had no less than three students tell me to F off. Except they actually said it. Uh, so that's been a fun day. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's the weather or what's going on. Just this perfect storm of craziness. But uh, yeah, I was like, oh, okay then. So three separate students had to be sent out of my room and sent to the office. And I was like, and like, not like in the same class period either. Like totally different students, not in the same social circle. Totally different periods, just totally three different incidents. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, so, you know, what else? I try and, I try and, I do my very best as a teacher when those things happen to just be like, like, when I was younger and like I was first teaching, it kind of like would get to me and be like, oh man, like, am I doing something wrong? But now I'm like, no, I'm not doing something wrong. Like, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it the same way forever. Like, well, that's not true. But like, it's like, I know how to interact with students and I know like, Obviously, what happened is each of these students had it, and I can tell you, I'm not going to because of you know privacy concerns. But I can, I know totally why each of those students just went off and exploded, and it's I'm not the cause of it. It's something else in their lives, and I'm just like the outlet for them. Um, so I've gotten better about that. I've become a bit more empathetic. Anyways, uh, but I am very tired. Um, uh, it is draining to deal with students like that. Um, and it's draining to just had tutoring today, so it's also draining to kind of tutor students and be like not have a break for like what, nine hours. <laughs> so, um, and now I'm doing more work. I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, we forgot to end it, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. Uh, today, when I'm filming this, is April 2nd, which I believe is also when you are watching it. And as of 7:16 in the morning, I'm not in labor, so. Um, I will include yesterday's video in the next vlog, I believe, um, but I didn't film much, but I know Ken did. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little update. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for baby Irene watch. Um, we'll see. Maybe she's going to be late. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments whether your baby was late, early, or on time. And if this is your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time we do a video, you'll know about it. You can also check out our other channels, well, my other channels, Heidi K Makeup, which actually has a lot coming on it very soon because I just filmed a whole bunch of videos. And then um, if you're not subscribed to Heidi Kim TV, subscribe there because that is where I'm going to post when I'm in labor. I filmed an I'm in labor video. So that will go live when I'm in labor and you guys can know I'm in labor. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.